the tarantula, one of the few nightmare-inducing things in the otherwise peaceful game of Animal Crossing. Hello, this is Nyx, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own tarantula farm and get all the bells you can carry. In New Horizons, there's this mystery island called Tarantula Island. From 7pm to 4am, this place is infested with tarantulas. But you can find tarantulas at almost any mystery island, including islands that have two or even three tiers. The only islands that won't spawn tarantulas are islands that only spawn one kind of bug, or ones that spawn no bugs at all. So, once you've found an eligible island, you need to clear it out completely. This involves picking all the weeds and flowers. You can leave the stems alone. Chop down all the trees, remove all the stumps, and break all the rocks. Then dump everything on the beach below. Now you just need to run around the island and scare off all the bugs until a tarantula spawns. Of course, now that you've found a tarantula, you have the fun job of catching it. There are three general methods of catching a tarantula. You can sneak up on it. This involves holding the A button to sneak and slowly walking up to the tarantula. Once it rears up, you want to stop moving and wait for him to calm down. After he calms down, you just walk a couple more paces, he'll rear up again, and then calm down, and you just repeat this until you're close enough to swing your net and catch him. The next method is definitely a lot more fast pace. You just run up to the tarantula and get him to chase you. Then after a couple seconds, turn around and swing your net, and hopefully if you got the timing right, you'll have caught him. And finally, you can trap the tarantula. Traps are great for small single tier islands, like the tarantula island itself. A couple common trap designs are the box and the L trap. The box trap involves making a box with your shovel and jumping into it so you can safely catch the tarantula from inside. You'll need a good head start between you and the tarantula for this to work. Personally, I struggle a lot with this method. My favorite method is the L trap. Simply get the tarantula to chase you, run around the trap until he gets stuck on the inside, and then swing your net and catch him. And that's all there is to it. Good luck catching all those tarantulas and making all the bells. And if you want some more tips, tricks, or some interesting mechanics, stick around. Going to the island after 8pm will stop tiger beetles from spawning which only leaves wharf roaches for you to chase off. Tarantulas only aggro you if you're holding a net. If you're not holding anything, or holding a different kind of tool, you can walk around and they won't bother you at all. In fact, they'll run away and despawn. If you do unfortunately get bitten by the tarantula, Wilbur will save you from being eaten alive. There are no negative effects to being bitten aside from the tarantula despawning and you'll even get some nook miles for the first time you get bit. The spawns for the island are determined when you first land on the island. So that means, if even if you land at 6.59pm, there will be no tarantulas for you. Even though mole crickets are technically bugs, you really don't have to worry about digging them up. Unless you suddenly stop getting bug spawns on your island, then digging them up might help. If you were wondering, the corners in the box trap are absolutely necessary. And finally, if you want even more bells, you can save your tarantulas for Flick. He'll buy them for 12,000 bells apiece compared to the Nookling's 8,000 bells. He also stays in your town until 5am, so you better stock up on coffee if you really want to make those bells. And that's all the tips I have for you today. If you have any more useful tips, leave them as a comment down below, and if you're stuck in quarantine and need more entertainment, check out my Animal Crossing Let's Play series. But for now, thank you all for watching, I hope you enjoyed, leave a like if you did, subscribe for more, and I shall see you all in the next one. Bye guys!